In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a really sweet design with a teddy bear and balloon that would be perfect for baby showers, Valentine's Day, or young birthdays. Okay, so I am frosting this double barrel cake, and as you can see, I have already frosted it with vanilla buttercream. And now I'm going back over with buttercream that I've tinted with Americolor Sky Blue. And it's just a really, really light shade of blue. And right now I'm just kind of lightly spreading it over the tear. And I'm gonna have sort of a combination of white and blue. It's not gonna be just solid blue. Um, so that's why I did it the way that I did. So I'm just gonna kind of make my way all the way around. Okay, so as you can see, I'm allowing the frosting to inch up past the top edge of the cake, and we're gonna clean things up in just a second. But first, I'm gonna go with my bench scraper and just kind of sweep around the sides, begin to smooth things out a little bit. Once you get it fairly smooth, and this looks pretty smooth, I'll smooth it from this side so you can see a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna put it in the freezer to firm it up, and then I'm gonna go back over it with a hot spatula. Let me also clean the top edge off. So to clean the top edge, you're just gonna go in with your angled spatula and just carry that excess frosting towards the center and then just move it up and off of the cake. And that will give you a nice clean edge. So I'm gonna pop this in the freezer once I've cleaned up my edges and we'll meet right back. Okay, so now I'm creating the heart-shaped balloon for the top of the cake. So I'm starting out with some pink fondant, and this is about, I guess, slightly smaller than a golf ball size. I've kneaded in some Tylos powder, maybe about a fourth teaspoon of Tylos, but you can just go by feel. I just like to do that so that it firms up a little bit more quickly. And I'll start out with a ball and then I'm just gonna lightly flatten it and shape it into a heart shape. And then for the top, we'll just cut it in half. Just at the very top of the cake, you can rock your, or the very top of the heart, you can rock your knife back and forth. I think I'll make it a little bit more open. And at the bottom, I'm gonna put in an anchor. So this is our lollipop stick. And I'm just gonna let the heart begin to set up while we're working on the rest of the okay, cake. So now I'm gonna write the love you message in string, and it's a string of buttercream. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable with this, you could also play around with other ideas, uh, maybe using extruded fondant. Um, I do think it's really important to make sure that your buttercream is firm when you do this step so that if you mess up, it's easier to correct uh, because the frosting is nice and firm. So this is just a little two tip and you can see I have my gray buttercream. I'm just gonna go ahead and start. I have my uh, bottle here just to kind of represent about where the bear will be sitting. Okay, and I'm just gonna do just two little loops to represent the little tie for the balloon. Okay, I think it looks cute. Okay, and here is my white buttercream. I'm gonna make some clouds. I've just snipped away the end of my disposable piping bag, but it's about the size of what a maybe a piping tip 12 would be. And I'm just gonna do little groupings of balls of buttercream here and there for clouds.
Okay, so really quickly before I add my bear, I thought I'd go ahead and add my border. So I'm just gonna use a grass tip. This is a tip 233. And you can use this for grass or fur. And you'll just apply pressure and pull it straight out however long you want it to be and then release the pressure. So you could do really, really short grass or you could do like me and do slightly longer. So I'm gonna carry this all the way around. We're gonna add some cute little flowers a little bit later. I think we'll add the bear and then we'll add our flowers. Okay, I decided to make my band of grass just a little bit wider because I wanna add more flowers and I want the bear to be sitting more in the grass than just have the grass behind him. But this is just totally optional. You can let it go out and then in and out and in if you want more of a wavy look. It's just whatever you like. Okay, so now I'm working on the teddy bear. We're gonna have a little teddy bear holding our balloon. So this is just a ball of gum paste or you can use fondant with a little tie lace needed into it. And it's tinted with Americolor Ivory. We just added enough until it took on this brown shade. And the body of the bear is gonna be a little bit of a teardrop shape. So I'm just gonna squeeze it slightly at the top and slightly flatten it. And he's gonna be sitting down on our pedestal. So I just wanna flatten it enough on the bottom that it can be uh, stable. Okay. I'm also gonna give him stitches down the front of his stomach and I'm just gonna do that with a toothpick. And then you can make a little hole with a toothpick if you're going to be using an anchor and you would want to make sure that whoever you're giving this cake to knows that there's a toothpick in there. Um, I just like to do that just to make sure that the little body parts are gonna stay in place. I'm gonna let this firm up uh, for at least an hour or two. And I'm also gonna go ahead and start working on the head, which is the easiest part. You're just gonna roll a little ball of your gum paste. And I'm just gonna slightly flatten this also. And just make sure it looks right for the size of body that you've made. And then I'm gonna put a little hole on the bottom. And again, that's if you're gonna use a little anchor. Okay. And then for the nose, I'm just gonna ball a, make a little ball of our dark gray tinted gum paste or fondant is fine too. And it's just a slight little oval shape like that. And I'm gonna let it set up just a little bit more before I add the eyes. Uh, but for the ears, you're just gonna do two little pea-sized balls. I'm gonna add a little piping gel. And you just slightly flatten it and push it on. And then we'll make a little impression too. Okay, so just using my paintbrush, I'm gonna just make a quick impression. And we'll come back in just a little while for the eyes. Um, for the arms and legs, these are just teardrop shapes. Um, especially the arms, it's just a matter of rolling a ball. And then you'll just apply a little more pressure just to one side to get your teardrop. You can leave it rounded like that or you can tap it slightly at the bottom. Now one of our arms is gonna be anchored into the, the body of the bear. So because of that, I'm gonna make a small hole here and that reminds me, I'm gonna add a small hole here also. Um, if you wanted to though, if you don't want to do the anchors, you could just place the bear on the pedestal, the body, and then you would just glue the arm with a dot of buttercream 
directly onto the cake. So there is another option if you'd prefer to do it that way. Uh, for the legs, same thing. It's a teardrop shape. It's just slightly shorter and fatter. And I did tap down the little feet at the bottom. If you want to, you can make a slight little impression also. You could either do a few little dots for a paw print or you could just make a little round impression like that. Okay, so in just a second, I'm going to grab the little bare parts that we made earlier in the day um, and we're gonna start piecing it all together. Okay, so I'm gonna start assembling my bear and this is uh, these are little bear parts that have been drying uh, for a couple of hours. And I like to dry it just because if you try to assemble everything while the gum paste is still soft, it will work, but over time it's more likely to sag. Okay, and you can see, I forgot to mention, I did add a little heart-shaped um, piece of fondant to the bear. Or you could do a little sprinkle. Now my toothpicks that I'm using, I've broken down to a shorter size. And I think I'm just gonna use the toothpicks for the head and then this outstretched arm. Okay, so let's see if we like the way that looks. I think that's good. So maybe he won't be touching the cake. Maybe he'll be slightly away from it. And let me build this out a little bit more. And the legs, I'm not going to attach really with an anchor because I could just scoot them right up to the body. I put a little piping gel, but you don't have to even do that. Okay. For the other arm, I'm actually just going to attach that to the side of the bear's body. And so you actually could just press that down and make it a little bit flatter. And this could even be applied while it's still soft. Okay, so we'll just do that. And then for the bear's face, I still need to add the eyes. And now that it's had a chance to set up the surface is nice and dry, and so it's easier for me to write with this food writer pen. I'm just gonna do two little dots close to the nose. And then I like rosy cheeks, so I'm just gonna use a dry, small paintbrush and some pink petal dust. And this is just an optional step, but I always think it's cute to add little rosy cheeks. Okay. And then let's brush on a little piping gel, even though we don't really need it because we do have this little anchor. And Okay. Um, I have the little hand so it's just barely touching the writing so I'm just gonna just lightly add a little more icing right here okay so I think that looks really sweet okay so right now just adding as an optional step some small little flowers using pink, green, and white. And when I do this on my cakes, I'm not even using a piping tip, I just snipped away the very end. If you did wanna use a piping tip, just choose maybe like a tip two. But I'm basically just doing little groupings of three dots or even one dot here and there, or little daisies, or in this case, I'm doing spirals so that they look like little tiny roses. And this is just basically supposed to look like little wildflowers um, in the grass and it's just a fun way to add color. So I'm just going to make my way all the way around. You could even throw in some little tiny confetti sprinkles if you'd like and we'll meet back in just a few minutes. 
Okay, so our cake is finished. I love how this came out. I think it's such a cute design, and as you saw, it's not a difficult design to create. So I hope you'll keep it in mind for your baby showers, young birthdays, or Valentine's Day cakes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.